uh, two candidates for uh, fourth district, Steve Taylor, Pete Kosovich. Right. Thank you. Right. And um, Bob Chris. Schick, yeah. Kristen Wilhelm. And they each get an opening statement to explain who they are, so I don't have to say much more than that. So let's start with uh, Mr. Taylor. All right, I guess uh, <clears throat> first I want to thank the Citizens for Community Development for putting this candy form together. You know, it's, uh, it's actually hard to believe that it was three years ago since we sat in this library to kind of decide the future of this city. We had uh, Pete and I, it's like it's a rematch. <laughs> and uh, Kristen has a new opponent, but this time she's the incumbent. I can tell you it's a lot easier. These mics on? Yeah. yeah. I can tell you that's a lot easier to run as the opposition as the incumbent. That's because you have to run your record of accomplishments or lack thereof. But I'm confident Franklin's heading in the right direction and the voters of the, the voters of the fourth district will agree. It's been a great honor to serve these past three years. Many of the decisions that have come before me are tough calls with strong arguments on both sides. Hopefully during the past three years, I've made more good calls than bad calls. The voters will ultimately decide that on April 5th. However, there are no do-overs in politics. You have to do what you believe is right, and in the end, accept the results. And I've tried to do this every day over the last three years. I believe that Franklin can be the greatest city in southeastern Wisconsin. This can be accomplished only if we govern with fiscal restraint and forward-thinking leadership, which I've been working hard to achieve these last three years. There are some in this community that want to stop the progress we've made, and if re-elected, I will continue to defend what we are trying to accomplish here in Franklin. There's still work that needs to be done, and I can't do it alone. Hopefully I've earned your trust and support to be able to continue this work, and I ask for your vote on April 5th. Uh, next, Mr. Kasevich. Okay. Well, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself, who I am, and what I believe in. I believe God and family are the nucleus of a strong America. I'm a conservative Christian Republican. I believe in free market economics, less government, and lower taxes. I believe Franklin's taxes are too high. We must work together with the school board to make responsible cuts. We must follow the lead of Scott Walker in reining in government spending and unrealistic benefit packages. We must promote economic development. During my term previously, we added Northwestern Mutual, the second building, Wheat Franciscan, Staybridge Suites, Andes, Sendix, Target, Wyndham Village, and a few others. These all help the tax base. I also support the full use of the TIF funds when the Franklin Business Park is, is paid up uh, for, for full tax relief. I know some people have talked about divvying it up between different projects, but it was promised in 1993 for tax relief, and I go right along with that. I help to keep Franklin safe from sex predators through an ordinance which is proven to be enforceable through the courts. I support a strong police and fire department I have a lot of faith in our police chief, Rick Oliva, and fire chief, James Martin. I know the meaning of the word commitment. I'm committed to God, family, and country. My wife, Sherry, and I have been active members of St. Paul's in Franklin for 30 years. We've been married for 33 years. I have a business uh, in Franklin. I've been a business owner for 31 years. And I have served the people of Franklin for eight years, uh, three of them since I was an alderman on the Planning Commission and the Civic Celebration Committee. I have experience running a business, budgeting, and cutting spending when times are tough. I've served on the city, CDA, personnel, license, health, public works, planning, and civic celebration committee. I will listen to your concerns, analyze them, and find solutions. I'll treat you with respect and empathize with your situation. I have been vocal and assertive when necessary. Uh, in 08, Steve said, I want your job. I want my job back. Thank you. Next up is uh, Mr. Schick. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't use microphones. Can you hear me in the back? I uh, supervised drill sergeants for many years, so I do not like using microphones. That's just the way I work. My name is Bob Schick. I live, obviously, in District 3. One of the things I want to mention, I'm going to tell you about how I go to the front doors, because nobody knows me in District 3. Here's what I do. I do have a crutch. I hurt myself doing something very stupid. I was playing golf and stepped on the largest pine cone I think was on the golf course. It crippled me, so I got uh, operated on in February, but now I'm riding around a little silly little red cart. And when I do that to go visit people's homes, they don't know who I am. Okay, so I pull out this flyer that we've distributed in the area. And I immediately point down to the bottom part because I do have a website that's out there, bobshakejr.com. 
And what I do is I tell them the following, because see, I do not have experience as a politician. I've done many different things in my life. Here's what I say to them, so that I cut, cut to the chase right off the bat. I do not spare any words. And here's what I've written. I just want to make sure I get it clear to everybody here. In my various leadership positions, 78% of my budget were encumbered by collective bargaining agreements. Governor Walker's repair bill allows Franklin the ability to make wiser economic decisions and maximize taxpayer monies. I do not seek and I will not accept union endorsements or monies. As a District 3 representative, I will have no special, special allegiances other than to the citizens of District 3 and the community of Franklin. And that's where I'm coming from. Thank you. Okay, next up is Ms. Wilhelm. Well, I'm the um, current alderman, and my jo day job is executive director for a land conservancy. We do land use planning and preservation. I don't um, think your mic is on. Okay. Just bring it closer. My related experience is um, for licensing and finance. Is it working now? Can you hear? Hello. Neither was Steve's. That's right. Well, I guess I'll just have yes, to yes. talk louder and hey, that. Hey, hey. All right. <laughs> Where am I at with my time now? I was requested by the, the residents to run for Alderman in 2008 after volunteering in the city for eight years. And um, I wanted to have a voice on the council with a vote. And... Um, be heard and let the residents be heard. I felt like the third district was being ignored for some time. I've uh, lived in the third district for 22 years. I have uh, two teenage children, both went through the Franklin schools, Pleasant View School, and um, I still, my son is still in uh, high school in 11th grade. Uh, during this time, I have worked to provide real representation. I'm the only alderman that has a website, the only one that does an le electronic newsletter, I do my best to come knock on your door if there's something that's um, going to involve you so you will know about it and you can get info. I um, am very involved in, in the process transparency of city government and making sure that you're involved in that, keeping you active, and, um, and I'd like to see, have you see that your taxes are used wisely, which is uh, one of the things that I have been striving for on the finance committee when we, uh, when I came in 2008, we had, it was like a 6% tax levy. We kept it at 3 in 2009 and about that in, in the following year. Uh, I, did, I guess I got off on some of my other credentials. On, uh, I'm on the licensing finance and trails committee, helped write the grant for Safe Routes to School. Uh, and, uh, and the automatic, the automatic representative of the Board of Health, and have a more mayoral appointment to the Environmental Commission at SNI for eight years. I'm a U.S. Air Force veteran, and I formerly worked for the Federal Aviation Administration. Okay, thank you. So, with opening statements finished, I have seven questions in my hand. And there is no such thing as an imp-